so many heroes. We keep awards in there. A few of the top shot ones are mine. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Let's see what's new today. Hey, Erica. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here. To let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. You want to grab lunch later? Um, not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. Uh, I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah, bring it by. Sure, no problem. Read. Terence mentioned to me that you have found a piece of an antique last night at the crime scene. I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately, either. But I wrote them off up until last night. I'll show it all to you when I get back later today. For now, I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davy's office somehow. Hey, babe. We haven't spent time together in a while. Was wondering if you'd like to rent a movie and watch it at my place this weekend. Sully. Sully. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me babe? Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there, so that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. I don't have any evidence to look at right now. locked. I'm going to have to get creative if I want to get in there. Good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. Bring me some donuts if you want to help. 
Will a bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here! Has Sully said anything about me? Look, I'm not good at this lovey-dovey shit, but we were at Joey's the other night, throwing him back, and the kid opened up. He's confused. I don't blame him. I have fun when I'm with him, it's just... I feel like I'm cheating. You mean because of- You know. It's one thing when you touch a body and find details that help on a crime scene. But when someone holds your hand and you see him looking at penthouse magazines and... Don't all guys do that? It's not that. I feel intrusive. If I find things that I don't like later, too bad. But I want to get there at my own pace. I don't want to know his parents before I even have the chance to feel it's going too fast when he asks me to meet him. Man, I don't know what it'd be of me if every time I kiss my ex-wife I saw my mother-in-law. <laughs> and that's on a good day. Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. Well, stop being so good at it. You keep a copy of Davy's office keys, no? Why? She sent me an email mentioning something about strange things she's been receiving in the past few days. So I figured that since she isn't here... You just sneak into her office and look around? Oh, come on, John. I don't have time to stand around until she comes back. Even if I didn't think that was a stupid idea, you're out of luck. I lost those keys. And don't tell anyone either. Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today. So I can't even have that small comfort. So I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit. She seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now, before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. Well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be- It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case, but the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance then. Terrence, you're my one true love. Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? 
<sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. I need lockpicks. I'll need to see you put your thumb on your nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. What? If you're going to ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. True that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights for me. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. So this antique has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch- Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning. Yeah, she mentioned something. Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. <laughs> what am I good for? Oh, it's just a- Gallagher's being a real pain in the butt about my equipment. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no other place to put it. And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do? You got it. See you later. Alligator! Agent Reed. Gallagher? How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials, like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst. But the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with a lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We sent a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? 
The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's going to take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. Terrence mentioned something about wanting to use the storage? Yes, he's being a pest as always. Why won't you play nice? If he feels welcome, he'll never leave. And that would be unacceptable. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. That should do. Anything else I should take a picture of? Do you mind? Go ahead. The noose carved marks deep into his neck. Oh, what a horrible way to go. His fingers have been skinned and mutilated. Whoever did this went to a lot of trouble to hide his identity from us. His fingers have been skinned and mutilated. Whoever did this went to a lot of trouble to hide his identity from us. What's this? This wound is recent. There's something not quite right here. Could it be a bone or something else? Hello, Dr. Gallagher. Agent Reed. So you won't reconsider about Terence using the storage? Without a direct order, no. Which you, of course, are not authorized to give me. Now, can I get back to work? Have you checked this on the body already? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Will you? As you wish. Well. Now that's unusual. What the hell? That looks like a piece of the antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. Make sure that good-for-nothing Bowlby knows of its existence. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Gallagher prefers her old-style tape recorder. I don't need that right now. I wonder how these go together. There we go. Now what? The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. I'd rather try something easier. Maybe I should talk to Terence. <laughs> 